new deck list for the new standard and it's pretty cheap it's goblins this is a throwback to the old goblin decks where you have to uh, the idea is you just play a bunch of efficient low costed creatures on curve and then you win uh, so we have a whole slew of one drops and then we also have a few really good goblins to go with our one drops so uh, the idea is to get 20 damage in as fast as possible and hopefully uh, win before you die so we have our first one drop fireblade charger it's uh, the 1-1 one, one, and then it also does extra damage when it dies equal to its power Similar but less exciting is the Goblin Arsonist. 1-1 one, one, when it dies, it deals 1 damage to any target. We have our new Goblin from Adventures of the Forgotten Realm. Goblin Javelinier. A 1-1 one, one Haste, which is pretty sweet, and it also deals an extra damage to its blocker, so it makes it more difficult to block. Our other 1-drop is the Weaselback Redcap, which is also a great mana sink as well so it beats for one but it can also get bigger power if you have a red and a generic to spend and then since we're in the in the business of dealing damage to win our removal spell is shock so no snow removal for three damage to non players uh, also can clear away an early blocker as well to get more damage in. We're experimenting with Make Your Mark, a way to uh, keep pressure on the board against early removal spells. It also gives plus one plus zero to your creature if that is important at the time. And we have from the new set Battle Cry Goblin. So this Goblin is uh, pretty bananas. It does a 2-2 two, two for 2, not terrible, and then it also gives all goblins you control haste, including itself, and then also your entire goblin team, if that's all you're running, gets plus 1, plus 0 as many times as you can activate it. And if you attack with power six or greater you get an extra goblin that's a tapped in attacking which can also benefit from the ability and then we have we'll go next to our hobgoblin captain which is our three one two drop which is also very good because it is able to uh, get first strike and make it more difficult to block then we also have our Hobgoblin Bandit Lord, which is our three drop lord that gives all your goblins plus one plus one. So uh, notable is your Fireblade Charger can get bigger, um, and also everybody else. And if you really wanted to, you can use the second ability to sneak in some extra damage to any target equal to the number of goblins that entered the battlefield this turn. But uh, not really that exciting because you're likely going to just want to attack as much as possible but you could do it if you want to and then our other two drop conspicuous snoop uh, is a great way to uh, refill the board after a board wipe or just fill the board with a bunch of goblins if you're lucky enough to have them on the top of your deck as well then we also have castle Embereth. Another way to uh, make your entire team have more power. Den of the Bugbear, which is a great man land that will survive your usual sorcery speed board sweepers. And then it becomes a 3-2 goblin that gets, uh, in, that gets uh, benefit from your lords and your battle cry goblin. And it also dumps another goblin onto the battlefield when it attacks. And that token is also attacking. And then mountains. So as you can see, you want to play creatures, attack as much as possible, and then with Battle Cry Goblin, you can swing for some very large attacks very quickly. 
sideboard because we're playing best of three. We have the Plundering Barbarian just as a way to destroy artifacts and it also is a 2-2. Um, so not a goblin but extra legs with good effect. We also have Burning Hands against green decks that have big creatures that are scary. It's also extra removal against decks you want to board an extra removal as well. Soul Guide Lantern for graveyard shenanigans. Sorcerer's Spyglass for planeswalker shenanigans. And then against control we have Roiling Vortex or against anything with life gain. Does one damage to your opponents during their upkeep and also you yourself, but you can also pay red so it negates any gaining life your opponents have. And then Relic Robber, uh, Haste, and then when it connects, your opponent gets a uh, Goblin Construct that also pings them every upkeep as well, so extra free damage with those four cards. Uh, so that is Goblins, the budget version which I've been playing with some uh, surprising success. Got to the gold, and so we're going for platinum next. But you will have to watch that some other time.